These cows are looking at me like they know I'm about to eat steak. All right, what's up, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're on the way to Stoke-on-Trent. Thankfully, I managed to avoid being brutally gored by those free-range cows, and we made it here to the Powys Arms. Powys? Powys? This is the site of today's food challenge. Quite scenic, actually. Look at that. It is a grand view, so it is. You have like a, uh, some kind of food challenge thing. Um, there is, I have a camera because I make YouTube videos. That's like my, that's my thing. I'd love a glass of water. Look at that, a big jug. <laughs> you must have, have you seen my videos? No. <laughs> I appreciate that. You could have lied and said, yeah, I love your videos. <laughs> I like the picture though, I appreciate the picture. Mike of the Mechanics. What a tune, this takes me back. Show my age. Arguably one of the greatest whistle solos of all time. There aren't many. Oh, right, this is it, yeah. The steak stack challenge. Yeah, that's the one. Clear your plate in 45 minutes and eat for free. This picture is actually a, a bit wonky. I feel compelled to uh, try and straighten it. That looks slightly better, I think. Kind of like we've got some perpendicular angles going on now. Oh, here we go. This is it. There we go. Thank you very much. Say so you were the Milky Bar Kid when you were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have been the title of the video. I met the Milky Bar Kid. <laughs> Love Milky Bar too. What's the state of the sweep? So somebody said 27 minutes? 27, that was Cara. Cara said 27, and your lowest right now is 15. 15? Yes, 15 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna do that quick. Right, but a place called the Powys Arms today, which is uh, in in on Staffordshire Moorlands, not Stoke-on-Trent because Staffordshire Moorlands sounds <laughs> a little bit more posh. <laughs> and I'm taking on the steak stacker challenge and you get 45 minutes yeah. to finish uh, pretty much 40 ounces of steak, nearly two pounds of chips and some other accoutrements. And if you do it inside 45 minutes, it's, it's on the house. On the house, yeah. And if you don't, it's 30... 34.95. 34.95. Anyway, who's gonna... Three, two, one, go. Right, I'm saving the onion rings for the end for sure. Oh, there's bacon on it. Didn't realize that. I hate to eat steak this way. I need some chopping space. What's up, Abby? Welcome back. Do you chop steak? I think you cut steak, don't you? Fillet it, maybe? Semantics. Anyway, welcome back. To another episode so good the table's wobbling it's a seismically good episode <laughs> no probably not anyway today we're at a place called the powis arms not the powis arms as i erroneously suggested at the start of the video taking on the as yet unbeaten steak challenge uh thingy right that's about 20 ounces of steak down i think five minutes it's less high octane when you're watching live right it's not quite as enjoyable <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're just hearing my lips smack and just meet my deep breathing. Yeah, sounds normally only witnessed by Mrs. Beard in the unedifying struggle of lovemaking. But on this occasion, because they turned the music off, that's all the, the audience got to hear. <laughs> get some of this. Oh, this cheesy sauce is so thick now it's got a skin on it. I love it. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. What kind of deviant likes skin on his sauce? But this is cheese sauce, still to be specific, so it's different. I like the bacon on top of the steak. Steak challenges can be, even if they're cooked perfectly, a bit boring because you're pretty much just eating cow for the entire, you know, there's not much flavor to it other than meat. The sauce is banging. Enjoying the sauce, yeah. I'm not Gordon Ramsay, mate. Like, I'm very, I'm very easy to please. <laughs> ah, bless his cotton socks. I think the chef was a little worried about how the food would look on video, maybe my experience of it, but he needn't have been because it was yummy, especially this cheese sauce. That left quite the impression on me. And uh, its lasting scent was a welcome companion on the, on the long journey home. 
You can't talk, you know, you don't, you, you don't have to whisper. It's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> you were doing some kind of improvised sign language there. I was trying to figure out what you were saying. <laughs> I think we're doing all right so far. Do you know what time I'm on? 36 minutes left. I think we just have been going 36 minutes. Oh, God. 36 minutes to go. All right, so we can go about nine, what, nine minutes? Does that make it nine minutes or so? Nine, ten minutes? This cheese sauce is flipping lovely. <laughs> Might get you put me some of this in like a thermos. I'll drink it, drink, drink it on the way home. <laughs> yeah, a nice refreshing swig of thick, creamy cheese sauce. <laughs> I don't think that's going to catch on. All the steak is done, pretty much. Yeah, done, done and dusted, as my pops used to say. 40 ounces straight down the gullet, and I very much enjoyed it. The cook on this steak was great, it was perfect. I got it medium rare, which was a welcome change because if you recall, the uh, I don't know if you watched the video, but the last time I ate steak was in Texas, and I made the egregious error of ordering it well done, which I realize is an affront to the culinary gods, but uh, I did it for good reason. This time, it was only 40 ounces of steak, and I thought, you know, I, I would enjoy it. What makes it a challenge is really the accompanying two pounds of, well, it's almost two pounds of chips. You know, the onion rings and, and everything else. But yeah, the food was decent. Yeah, I mean, I might as well finish it, right? <laughs> it wouldn't do my reputation any good to leave even the sauce. <sighs> oh, I'm starting to blow a bit now. We got plenty of time though, 45 minutes to finish this one. So we got a good half hour left. Oh, this is an obscene amount of chips. Obscene. Yeah, I think we've all heard that before. Fortunately, these were not the, you know, the frozen McCain oven chips kind. Not that I have anything against McCain, but they were double cooked, so nice and fluffy in the middle. I'm getting distracted by loose women. <laughs> How is this show even still on TV? You know what I mean? Like, <coughs> my grandma loves this. She'd watch it all day long, I think. Yeah, that's Granny Beard's standard afternoon viewing, if you're interested. I don't know why it would be. <laughs> loose women followed by Rawhide or Bonanza or I don't know, sort of something like that. All right, that's, mo that's most of the tussed up. What do you say? It's like kryptonite? The, kryptonite the, mushrooms. the mushrooms? Yeah. You've definitely seen a video or two. Yeah, yeah that's the, uh, the owner who was familiar with some of my work exploits. Can you call it that? My oeuvre. But uh, that, that's a stark contrast to the, the waitress who I saw when I arrived, who took, I think, great delight in telling me she'd never heard of me. <laughs> Did, did anyone have 20 minutes on the uh, yes. on the sweepstake? Yeah. 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 The person who's not here. Yeah. But he watches the videos, right? Was he thinking, yeah. uh, I've, I've got to get it done by then then. <laughs> yeah, the staff have got a bit of a sweepstake on how long it would take me to finish. And that's not the first time that's happened in recent memory. I think it happened like two months ago, with that uh, burger challenge I did, which kind of paints English people as gambling addicts, but it's, it's all good fun, I think. <laughs> I never really did find out what the stakes were. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. No chipmunk crew here. Yeah, done. Done, man. Well, yeah, done. Just, under 20, just under 20 minutes. <coughs> yeah, yeah, very impressive. Yeah, where, where's, come on, where's my round of applause? Yeah. 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 Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. Wow. You love that, you see that? Really? Yeah. Thank you very there much. There we go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Nothing beats a home, but I prefer cheesecake when it's not baked, you know, when it's like a no-bake thing. I don't want to be, you know, burping on the way home and just tasting steak all the, all the way. It's, I'd rather taste cheesecake. <laughs> Yum. Drive home. Sorry for calling Stoke a hole when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a bomb, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not really. <laughs>